Hello, Sasha Flighty, and welcome to this, uh, uh, I wouldn't say new, but this existing part of the website, which a lot of people do not go into. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it's very valuable, and I'll show you why it shows and it presents statistics and data, historical, going 25 years, in a way that you will never, and I will say never, did I say never? Never find anything like this anywhere else in the internet. Now, at the beginning, I'm going to show you how um, um, these things make sense and everything is sort of self-explanatory. But then, throughout, I'm going to show you a way how to present charts and data, not uh, chronologically, but from high values to low values. Okay? So basically, um, you know, a, usually a chart will, shows you, will show you something in a chronological order where basically the values are in the y-axis and the time is in the x-axis. But this one, it will actually, time will be secondary. The main measuring axis will be the value. But I'll show you first, but, but before we get that, and I'll tell you why that might be useful for you. And it's not just for equities, indices, not just for currencies, but for commodities. Not one, not two, and three, but over 15 of them. So first of all, where do you find this? Um, this is not mobile friendly. So if you go mobile, you will not find it. You will have to go to the desktop edition of your phone and you will go here and you will scroll and you will click here okay and if you have a desktop this is where you go now uh it says 21 years but it's actually 25 years because i haven't updated the text let's not worry about the text for now let's just go straight to the and let's put uh, no comment show comment no so what you usually show things is basically from 2018 the the the, the um, um the highest performing equity indices was this is ccmp this is the nasdaq australian index the dow smp smp and nikkei in japan FTSE, and the dax this and by the way and if you click on this you will get a pop-up this is currencies now you all know that you can value currencies versus another currency you know your euro versus the dollar sterling versus the yen but this is currencies against a a third object which is basically an external object which is basically a non-currency this is how you compare things uh, to get to, to to determine which is the highest and lowest you don't determine one currency versus another you you measure them against a third thing like gold so here in 2018 the yen is the highest performer against gold 2018 as you know the, the, the year ended very badly and it was a big decline and so there was a risk off and the yen went up so but this is not what the presentation this is not what this is about i'm just going taking you through the basics and then i'll take you through what will add value uh i believe and i hope to researchers to traders to uh academic uh to academics to teachers to nerds to or to people who have a lot of time on their hand and they want to kill time okay and even people who don't have time when you find this you will make the time so so the yen is the highest against gold, meaning the yen is the highest against all currencies. And the weakest is the Swedish krona. And then you can go all the way down. And by the way, the person who won our competition is because uh, in 2019, as we speak, the ster sterling is the highest performing currency. And actually, how do you find that? You can go here and you will basically go here and you will do year to date. As we speak, it's the... 11th of December and you will see that gold is the highest performer against the dollar uh, among silver gold sterling and then sterling is the highest performing currency because the first is gold the second is silver but in currencies sterling is the highest performing currency year to date and the euro is the weakest and if you do this against sterling you will see that everything is down against sterling and never mind let's go back so so basically this year is the first time that sterling is the highest performing currency since 2016 which is the highest performing currency since since 1993 do you remember where you were in 1993 were you born in 1993 okay so 
sorry, 96, 96, since 96. Sterling is the highest. So basically this year is the first time that Sterling is the highest performing currency since 1996. Never mind. This might be statistical riffraff to many of you, but basically you can also say, uh, well, in 2018, wheat was the highest performing and uh, US crude was the lowest. And then you can go all the way down and you can see what happened in 2012. Let's say 2008, ooh, 2008. That's, the, that's the, the, the eye of the financial storm. Basically, all indices were down 30%, but the FTSE was the least down and the Nikkei was the worst. And then you basically, you will see that uh, the commodities crashed in 2008, but one of the few commodities that went that were up against the dollar was sugar and gold. Uh, copper was the worst, uh, obviously, because it was uh, big to infrastructure spending and everything. Now, here's what I want you to pay attention to. So all of this is according to the year, but by year. But if you do this, if you do, if you sort it by, if you sort it by, uh, by alphabetical this may not be useful but I will, I'll go to, back to it later but if you do it by instrument if you do it by instrument and you will say what was the best year for the DAX so instead what so when you would go you would basically go to a chart of the DAX and you will see and you'll see what was the highest year and chances are you will go to a monthly chart a lot of them a lot of you do not have the annual the yearly chart you go to a monthly chart you try to, f to figure it out or you can do the same thing what was the highest the best year for for sterling or for uh, the Canadian dollar you will see what was the highest year for the Canadian dollar how are you going to do that you have USD CAD you have Euro CAD you have CAD yen you're going to do a monthly chart and you're going to say oh well CAD did well this year against the yen but I'm not sure did sterling but what was in in whole secular term and you can see that the Canadian dollar the best year was 2013 and the worst year was 2008 against gold okay uh, because this is all against gold and of course it makes sense because 2008 was one of the best years one of the best years for gold is it 2007 2008 so again so the commodity currencies okay um, so the commodity currencies their best year was 2013 okay 2013 2013 and then the second year was 1997 and this is the euro for instance the best year in secular term not only against the dollar but against in gold uh and when i say secular meaning in whole terms was the best year was 2013 the worst year was 1994 yes the euro was created in 1998 but on synthetic terms using the deutsche mark as a uh, as a synthetic uh, uh because basically before 1998 uh, around 70 percent of that basket uh, was deutsche mark uh, when they converted uh when they created the euro they did it in a basket of eq currencies and 80 percent of it i think if i believe 70 percent was the deutsche mark so uh, so 1994, 97, but then the worst year was 2005 or 2010, okay, against gold. So this, so if you look at euro dollar versus the dollar, the euro, the worst, the worst time of it was, I believe, 19, uh, was, was 2000 or, yeah, it was 2000 or 2001. Uh, but but against gold, uh, the worst was basically 2005. Why? Because gold pushed higher and it had a very, very good year, 2010. Okay? And so this is what you can do. And if you can, and you can look, for instance, the yen. The yen that is usually doing very well, you will see that its best year versus was, uh, was versus gold, 2008. It was a risk haven. Uh, gold plunged and, and the yen uh, soared and the worst was 2005 and then you can do the same exercise here basically for brent for coffee 1994 and this is versus the dollar obviously so this is copper copper the best year was 2009 because 2009 was the first year of the recovery or the bottom in stocks so and then the worst was 2008 and then you can see that 94 2003 2006 in the middle of the construction of the chinese led construction basically 2003 6 5 which is the which is basically in the heart of the bear market of the us dollar okay and then similarly here cotton gold and corn and this is all for you to change and to go around and either soybeans and sugar and then you can also uh, for instance, you can also do this basically 
uh, by ins yeah this is by instrument so this is uh, this is this is by instrument so we've we've seen this and this is a chronologically so by instrument and this is what so this is from 93 94 this is what you usually see okay this is what you usually know it's uh, a chronologically and but it's by instrument so it is not it is not by year so this is by year 2018 it will tell you the best in 2018 was all were all of these different instruments 2018 okay but by instrument you can say well here is the DAX uh, you know uh, you can say what was the best year what was the worst year but chronologically you can say how did the DAX do 93 94 to 93 18 and this is something that you usually have in any chart but this this will help you uh, see uh, how it did over time but if you want to see what was the best year you don't have to look and to see what was the biggest bar or the smallest bar or for instance for the for the US dollar for instance you don't have to see what was the biggest bar for US dollar against gold you can just go here and you can say buy high high to low values okay and you will go down to the performance of US dollar and you can see against gold it was 2013 it was the best year because obviously gold crashed against main currency uh, most currencies and not 2013 was the best year for, for for the dollar against gold and 97 was a very strong year 2015 and then one the worst year was 2007 which is right before the the crash right before the plunge in equity markets okay uh, when the US dollar was losing and everything was going up against the dollar all the risk haven was was uh, risk was being put on and 2010 also okay and then there is a few tidbits here that you may want to pay attention uh, there is also something about the January effect which I'll go in a different video here but you can look at it for yourself there's something very fascinating about this year too uh, but right now as we speak uh, if you will see year to date to the highest year to date this is very strange year because you have in agriculture in metals and energy in each of the three major groupings for commodities year to date each of the each of the three major categories in uh, in in commodities has at least uh, two or three uh, performers that are in double digit well you have coffee and you have sugar here uh, metals is very popular and energy is very popular and this is yeah. you, this is quite quite interesting because usually you only have it's dominated year to date by only one uh, but going back so this is what you can do and uh, one of the interesting things that you can ask yourself oh there is also something very interesting by the way which is this if you look at the at, at the Japanese yen Oh, let's do it chronologically by currencies. This is something very interesting for those of you who do currencies. Um, and I'm going to show by by year. This is how I'm going to end this video, which is by year. The yen is the year is the currency of extremes. In 2018, it was the best currency. In 2017, it was the best performing currency against gold. In 2016, it was the second best. In 2015, it was the second best. 2014, it was the third worst. 2013, it was the worst. 2012, it was the worst. 2011, it was the best. So it's either the best or the, or the worst because why? It is the it's the currency of extremes because it is the currency easier where it's where it's usually used as a funding currency or as an unwinding currency here it's the here it's the best 2010 2009 it's the worst it is amazing it's hardly ever in the middle well 2007 probably sometime in the middle 2006 again it's the worst and you can go down 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 so there's a lot of information and if you can spend at least 20 minutes you will figure out so many things just keep on playing around with this and uh, before you you know you want to send me an email and say Ashraf thank you for creating this thing you know I want you to also uh, give me some tips on what other findings you may have there's a lot of other finding here you can have or you can have the comments here you can add uh, the comments and you can basically have a look of uh, of the things that you that are added show comments no yes um, 
and then but this is also the tool that you want to get year to date or week to date or day to date so since since monday today we are wednesday but since monday you've had the australian dollar so against the us dollar uh the aussie and and gold are are the were are are the uh, highest performers and euro is the worst and we can go on and on here uh and we can watch this but basically um, this is one of the tools you can have here for free even though it says a premium content it is it is available to all thank you very much and all the best.